Hi, today we're looking at section 8.3, which deals with scale diagrams. So we'll look at some definitions first. So a scale diagram is a drawing in which measurements are proportionally reduced or enlarged from our actual measurements. Now our scale is the ratio of a measurement on a diagram to a corresponding distance measured on a shape or object being represented by a diagram. So for example, we might have for our scale, one centimeter in our diagram is two meters in real life. Scale factor is a number created from a ratio of any two corresponding measurements of two similar shapes or objects written as a fraction, percent, or decimal. Now we'll be utilizing these as we do some examples. So we have this example. A builder wants to construct a house on a rectangular lot shown in the sketch. We want to draw a scale diagram using a scale of one meter is equal to 500 meters. So we're reducing the size. We're going from 500 meters down to one meter. So what I would probably actually do before starting to draw this out is just label each of these with a letter and we will calculate each new one So we are trying to get down to a smaller size for our scale diagram. So that means we're going to put a smaller number on top of our fraction. So to get our size for A, our length on diagram would equal our scale factor of 1 over 500 times 45 meters. Now that gives us 0 0.09 meters. Now because we're drawing on out later, it's probably easier for us to convert that to centimeters. So if we multiply this by 100, that gives us 9 centimeters. Part B, we had, so our length on diagram will equal 1 over 500 times 3 meters. which gives us 0 0.006 meters or 0 0.6 centimeters. Oops, sorry, I realized I just did my value for C there. So that's actually my C value because we took the three from there. We'll do B, which is at 15. So we've got one over 500 times 15 meters. Which gives us 0 0.03 meters, which is three centimeters. Next we have D, so length on diagram. is going to be 10. So we've got 1 over 500 times 10 meters, which is 0 0.02 meters, which is 2 centimeters. Next, we have E. So our length on diagram. equal to 1 over 500 
times five meters which is 0 0.01 centimeters or sorry meters which is one centimeter okay f is our last dimension so our length on diagram would be one over 500 times 20 meters. So that's 0 0.04 meters. which works out to four centimeters. Okay, so now we will draw this out to scale. So we're gonna draw it on this grid down here. Now this grid, every box is half a centimeter. So when I measure this first measurement out, which would be our A, which is our length of it, that should be nine centimeters. So there's half a centimeter, one centimeter, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. So nine centimeters would be there. So if this was nine centimeters. I might as well do this vertical part net so that was originally 20 meters that became four centimeters so on scan every box is half a centimeter on here so there's half a centimeter one centimeter one and a half two two and a half three three and a half four centimeters now we'll finish off this box So that was, like I said, four centimeters. Next, I'll mark out where this should be going. Okay, so five meters from the bottom worked out to one centimeter. So that would be half a centimeter, one centimeter from the bottom. From the outside edge, it was three meters. Which was 0 0.6 centimeters. So that's just over one box because that'd be 0.5, that would be one. So we're going to start just to this side of it. And then the length of this was 15 meters, which worked out to three centimeters. So that'd be one, two, three centimeters. Now the height of it was 10 meters. Now 10 meters on here was two centimeters. So there's one centimeter, two centimeters. So one centimeter, two centimeters. Might as well finish filling in what these sideways were in centimeters. So this was 0 0.6 centimeters. 15 was three centimeters. This was two centimeters. And our five meters was one centimeter. Okay, so we have used that scale factor to actually create a scale diagram from this rough sketch that the person had.